Yo, what up? It's DJ Sus1, the feature presentation. We actually got somebody I've known for a couple of years now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He's making big moves in the game. Mm-hmm. He's keeping the dark skin legacy alive. Alive and well. <laughs> <laughs> um, Partisan Fontaine, my brother, was good, boy? I'm cool and I'm cool. How are you? I'm chilling. So a lot of people don't, you know, that are following me probably wouldn't realize that I've known you for a couple of years that you, you're just not new here. No, nah, not at all. I remember you had a record called Oi. Oi. You had a record called Bobby Brown. Bobby Brown, whoa. And, yeah, whoa. And you, you're from Newburgh. Correct. Newburgh, Newburgh, and you're a fucking hustler. Damn. Uh, no, nah, you're a hustler because you used to come to the clubs and make sure motherfuckers make, got your records played. Make sure. I, yo, that's a long trip from Newburgh. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you, I can't drive all the way down to, to the city and like I do not have day. it played. I'm not that far from Newburgh. And right not have it played. Impossible. <laughs> Facts. Dan is not going to let that not be played. We got to make sure. So talk to me. Um, I want people to just know a little bit about where you come from, Newburgh, and how you got into the game and, you know, how you got to the point that you're at now. Oh, man, where do I start? Uh, like, what was your life growing up in Newburgh? Because I know Newburgh is super gangster. Newburgh, for me, though, Newburgh was, I, I was always involved in, like, uh, in basketball and sports, you know what I'm saying? At, at that time, it was, Newburgh was known for hoopers, you know what I'm saying? We had nothing but hoopers. We had the yeah. best hoopers in the area. And you're, like, 6'5", because I'm 6'3", and you be looking down at my... Yeah, I'm 6'5", <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, like, that was my thing, that was... That's where I spent most of my time, that, and in church and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Like those, those Were you a like star my, player in high school? In high school? Yeah. I was I was a standout player. I wouldn't say a star, though. I was standout. I always was good enough to to start. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know, any team I played on, I always started. I wouldn't say I was a superstar, though, like no Fina, but I always played. Oh, okay. Um. So how did, how did you get into the hip-hop game? How did you... Um, start into the rap game really really I started really playing with it and messing with with the music when I was in like in later in high school like around 11th 12th grade mm-hmm. that's when uh that's when I was like yo this this whole snapping and that's when like the snap music was out yeah, you feel me like yeah. all of this was all of this was going crazy soldier boy is going crazy I'm like if if people out here making money off this like I could really get into this you know what I'm saying I could yeah. really I could really make some uh make some something significant you feel me so uh that's when i started like i wrote like a few freestyles uh then and ever since the freestyles i thought i was about to be on like the first freestyle i ever completed i was like yo i'm that's it. i'm about to be signed i'm about to be lit <laughs> this is it you know what i'm saying so i said kept that same energy all right so you you got into music that way when did you know you were nice um when people when, when did you get energy from people like yo this nigga Yo, it it's, it really happened from like from like day one though. Like I, I once I posted uh like two freestyle videos on on MySpace. You know what I'm saying? MySpace. Oh, MySpace, bro. Threw them up on the wall, <laughs> and immediately people was like, Nah, yo, that was all right. You know what I'm saying? Like it was just something funny, but uh, it, people really like messed with it. So that that kind of got me like the to let me know people was listening. And that and then when I went to school at Sullivan, when I went to Sullivan. It was people from the city, people from all over, and I was making music in the dorms, and they was rocking with it. That's how I really knew I had something. something and then you came out with a mixtape called Not Supposed to Be. Not Supposed to Be Here, yeah. Which is where I became aware of you. Right. And you got some energy off of that. Now, fast forward, how did you get to where you are now, where you're having records with Cardi B? I see that you've been writing for people. You've been co-writing for people. Um Oh, that's a long, that's a long time coming. That's like a real big, like three years. That's a big gap uh, from not supposed to, like three, four years, right? Uh, well, what was that journey like? Because you, you're in a nigga, you was at the BT Awards performing with Cardi B twerking heavy. Yeah, bro, you're in a good it, space. It, it seemed, yeah, right. And it seemed like <laughs> just yesterday I was still sleeping on the pullout couch, but uh, but um, it was just the, the 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 grind. You know what I mean? I was running down in the clubs trying to get. Anybody who could to play a record, you know what I mean? You, <laughs> yo, for real. From well, what was it? house? You feel me? Yeah, right down house, that house, like all of that, and doing everything I could, you know. But the the blessings come when it's time for them. You know what I mean? Like just you stay consistent, you stay true to it. They come when they, when when they supposed to. Now, <clears throat> there was a not to address this. Now, Cardi's my people, but there was a version of "Be Careful" that got leaked out there. Mm-hmm. What was that about? That was just that was my first verse. Like she you know, she addressed it. She said she liked the record and she wanted. Yeah, it. definitely. Like that was that was something I was already like already working on, mm-hmm. and uh, we just be in the studio heavily. You know what I'm saying? So by the time, by the time she she heard it, she's like, Nah, nah, I gotta get on this. I gotta, you know what I'm saying? Did you feel a way that 
it wasn't your record no longer and now it <laughs> No, not, not at all. Not at all. At first I was like, ah, but she uh she bodied it and it really made sense with the time that she was at in, yeah, in yeah. her life and career. Mm -hmm. And I already knew what it was gonna do. Like, but she came through her sauce on it, through the second verse and all of that. This came out fire. And I'm glad. She was glad that the clip came out. Like now y'all can see that this is who I'm working with and he nice. So it just nah, worked it was an out. Amazing look. And because of that energy, is that how you start? Because I heard that you were working with Kanye in the studio as well. Yeah. If that's true, that's what I read online. Oh no, no, yeah. Me and Ye definitely got it in for for a few drinks. Uh he 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 liked he liked a lot of the stuff that was on Cardi Project. Mm -hmm. And it was like and he he actually called me on the phone and I was like blown away. Like I just got a just call. Just out of nowhere? Yo, bro. Tell me know. the story because it's not a normal situation that like Kanye randomly call you. I bet. So um I hit up. I already knew Pusher. I knew I knew Pusher T. Mm -hmm. So I hit I hit him up like just trying to get like like I got this record I want you on. You know what I'm saying? So he he calls me. He texts me back like uh like yo that's crazy. We was just talking about you. I'm like word. He like yeah me and yeah. I'm like word. He's like yeah he want to talk to you. I'm like word. And then he like uh he like yo, I'm gonna give him your number. I'm like nah he's playing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like yo, he's playing. So uh like some time goes by. Some time goes by. Oh, I did a show or whatever and Wait, came back out. What do you need some time? How many times? Like, I'm long talking like some hours, bro. Oh, some okay. hours it took, went by. It took two weeks to call you or No, something. no, some hours went by. And by the time I, I get back to the car, I get a text message and it says, yo, this is Ye. Can I call you? This is a text. So I, Kanye West texted you and asked permission to call you. I said, nigga. This is what I texted back. I said, nigga, I've been waiting on this call my whole life. Hurry up. You feel me? That's what. I, that's exactly what I. That's exactly what I sent him, bro. So he starts crying, like you know, what I'm sending the crying emojis, <laughs> and he calls me, and he calls me back, and we just start discussing or where he wanted to go with his like his future music and all the stuff that he likes from me and all of that, and just talking and talking. He's like, "Yo," I'm like, "So when you trying to get it?" He's like, "Can you come tomorrow?" Like I'm like. No, I wow. can't. I can't come to Calabasas tomorrow. But you know what I'm saying. I can and, come right now. And like, in a, in a, like with the, <laughs> give me, give me a few days at least. You know what I'm saying. But in a, a few, a few days later, I was out in Calabasas and we was just working. Wow, that's an amazing story, bro. Now, um, has any of that music been released yet? Um, that you guys were working on was that yeah, on the project that he had out? Yeah, that that came out. A lot of it came out with uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, we when, when the, we went out in Wyoming and did that. Nice, and there's and there's still some that hasn't dropped. Yeah, some that hasn't dropped. I plan on we plan on linking back up. Like, I mess with Ye heavy. I fuck with Ye hard. Yeah, it's interesting, and not to bring this, you know, you know where I'm going with this. Not yeah. to bring it into this. Not to bring in negative. Everybody has an opinion, but a lot of people have opinion about Ye. Don't know Ye personally. Right. You were in the studio and you felt his energy. Now, the energy I've got, it doesn't seem like he has any vicious energy. Mm. But you know, people are angry out there, and then some people are with him. What is your opinion just on the whole situation? Not trying to say bad or good things about him. Everybody has an opinion. But what is your opinion from where he stands and what you think he's trying to do with this whole situation of him meeting with Trump and all that? In your opinion. Um, in my opinion, I've 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 had the benefit of actually being there and being around and having the opportunity to have him like really explain himself. Like, you know what I'm saying? He talked to you about it? Hey, bro, this is all he does. It's like Everything is Ye's thoughts, you know what I'm saying? We yeah, just yeah. get to put it in music later. You feel me? Like, but most of this stuff is Ye's thoughts. I'm there for the Ebro call, all of this, you know what I'm saying? A wow. bunch of stuff. Yeah. Like I was there, I think the first day he put on the hat. You feel me? Like I was there for this. Wow. And we even we had a conversation when he's like, Yeah, I fuck with Trump. And of course, like my eyebrows raised, like, what you mean? You know what I'm saying? And so you're good. You're not one of the yes men. You nah, never, never. You know what I'm saying? But uh, he 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 then went in to explain his reasons. I was there when Tip came, you know what I'm saying? And him and Tip had the, had the whole debate. And about, they did that song? They did the song on mm -hmm. the spot. When I tell you they did the song on the spot, bro, like Tip was like, Tip was like, uh, yeah, so just send me the beat and we could do this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he looks over to the engineer like, yo, load up that one joint. He loads it up, right? Kanye then... Just goes to the chair, sits down, and da -da 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 right? Tip is on his way out the door. He like hands the headphones to him. He like, you wanna do this right now? Tip, wow. tip looks, tip takes off his jacket, <laughs> nice. sits down, puts That's on the headphones. Though. I like Yo, that. sits down, puts on the headphones, bro starts like this, comes with a rebuttal. You know what I'm saying? Passes it back to Yay. It's like 30 people. Is there anybody writing anything down? It's like nobody's writing nothing down. It's like 30 people in the room, bro. And they just wow. going back and forth until the song was done. 
And that's how y'all heard it. No, that's amazing. So you think he means well with this? I think I think he means well and I don't think he has like a malicious bone in his body. His 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 way of doing it and his way of, you know, maneuvering that's his own business, you know what I'm saying? That's how he choose to do so. But as just me and me being a genuine person and me seeing him as being a genuine person, I like I can't knock that, you know what I'm saying, on a personal side. Like, I'm sure you got family members that you don't agree with everything they do or yeah. whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I'll fuck with you. You know what I mean? I feel you. I feel you. All right. Well, let's get to the music. Mm -hmm. You got Backing It Up. Facts. Featuring Cardi B. You performed it at the BET Awards. That was I a movie. That was, that I, did, was, I did. That, I did. That was, that was a nice look. Came out with the uh, bathrobe on, BET. Yeah, yeah. I like I like the situation because I like you know I know him for a couple of years and I watched this develop. So I don't know how to say this without sounding crazy, but proud. I'm proud of you to see you come this far. I want to know how it feels to have this newfound energy around you because I know I know when you perform in a role with Cardi B on stage, girls is coming to try to talk to you, bro. It's... <laughs> How's the newfound I even, energy? I didn't even know newfound fame. girls was like this bold, like. And girls are creative. You know what I'm saying? Girls are creative. I feel like girls are so much more creative than guys are. Like, when we go into a, a DM, I feel like we always send, like, the same stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. looking good, a couple emojis, whatever. Girls are creative with this. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just funny to see. I'm happy to be here. I'm more than happy. Was there any energy after you got off that stage? Off the stage itself? Uh, yeah. I mean, no, that's a big thing. BET Awards? I'm I'm cool. Like and, you know, and your shit is in the top. Um, what it hit the hot Billboard Hot 100, right? I'm one for one on Billboards right now. You feel me? One single out, one Billboard placement. I'm one for one. Yeah, so I want I'm running with that. Treat me like treat. I want to know the energy of what it is to be in your body, like that Chris Brown and this little Dicky song. Uh, I want to know what the fuck it felt like to get off that stage after you know people seeing me Cardi B. You coming from Newburgh? Has anybody popped out of Newburgh before? Uh, not to my knowledge. All right, so you're the first coming out of Newburgh. You own the BT Awards. Your record's moving up the charts. Uh, and I've seen this for the past three years develop. I need to know the energy that's going on out here with you. It's, it's, it, there it was still like, it's like Cardi B is still a huge star. You feel me? Yeah, of course. So a lot of people there just so excited to see Cardi. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But then they're still like the, who's that? Who, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm more than happy to have the, Who's that? You feel me? I I, I can appreciate that. Did any ex-girlfriends hit you up and say, hey, big head? Uh, you, know, you know how many <laughs> congratulations and all of that come with it, but, you know, it's part of the territory. I, it's cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. I told you I'll be here. <laughs> I told you I'll be here. I, I told you I'll be here. You ain't believe me. So what is your exact situation right now? You're in, you're in Atlantic, right? Correct. Are you signed under Cardi? Is no. that the situation? Because no, 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 no. that was a rumor. No, 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 no. Straight Atlantic. Straight Atlantic. Yeah. What's the what's St. Luke Section Eight Atlantic? Nice. <laughs> what's the um the movement in the next few months? Um, what's coming with Partisan? I just I'm about to just put out as much music as possible. You know what I'm saying? It's been it's been a long time since I had the ability to just put out music. So I have a bunch and abundance of music that I'm just trying to put out when the time is right. And I got a bunch to say, and I feel like people are now like seeing like. All of the old work that I put in, like yeah, you know, yeah, he's yeah. been fire, and I like seeing the old fans that that been rocking with me, like <laughs> take to it and be like, oh nah, he got this, he got that, you know what I mean? Bro, what was the record I was playing on the radio that day? It, it was the same beat as a Nicki beat, right? The rap Charlemagne. The yeah, rap that was your beat first. Is that what it was? The beat. I mean, I can't say that shit's hot. By the who way, who exactly had it first? Yeah, I knew I had it over like a year, year and a half ago. You know what I mean? I had it a while ago, and I got it from uh. Vinyls who works closely with uh Wonder, yes, who actually who produced the song. So, um, I had it planned on releasing it and whatnot. Um, found out that it had been taken, so we tried to like redo it, whatever the case may be. Um, but when when it came out and we found out, you know, what I'm saying it's out now, just wanted to release mine as a freestyle. And I get it, you I... know, what I'm saying like I got a freestyle now, so we threw that we threw that drain out and it came on the radio. Thank you very much, no by problem. the way. That joint got, got mad love. And I... So there's no there's no project name coming up, no album name or anything like that? Um, I'm debating the name. I'm debating it. A lot has changed for me within this last, you know, five, know. six months. So I now know, it's nigga. like the direction may have changed up a little bit. So I want to make sure it's, it's, it's suitable for, for the music we're releasing. All right, cool. I'm excited, man, because like, just like Cardi, I, last time I interviewed Cardi, I told her, I watched you come. You know, I used to DJ at Sue's and all these. I saw her come from dancing to what she is today. 
And I feel like I'm watching you from when I met you a few years ago to what you are now, and I could see what it's going to be in the next year or so. So I'm excited to see the situation come together. Um, so let me know when you have an album title. You know I got you. Also, are you going to continue writing? Well, I'm sure you're going to continue writing. Are you writing for anybody right now? I know you probably can't tell me who and shit. Nah, the crazy Besides- thing is I'm not. I've never been a writer. Like, you know what I'm saying? A pe- couple people hit me up like, yo, I want to do this. On your wiki, it says you, you're co-writing and shit. Yeah, but that's because like Cardi's legitimately been my homie from day one. Like, you talk about the sewage days. Mm-hmm. Like, we met through me trying to like, you know what I'm saying, get oi into the strip clubs and going down there, you know what I'm saying, they having you host for a, a bottle and a half of Hennessy. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like that's what they're giving you. You're allowed to have two people free. All the rest of your homies got to pay. Like, that's where I come from, and that's where I met her. So, and we got a mutual friend, uh, Ash Cash, who was always playing my stuff while they was together. So Cardi took a liking to it, and um, we just been homies since then. She came up, did my birthday party, my album release party back in the day in Newburgh. Yeah, yeah. So we we always had that. So, and that's why it was only natural for us to link when she decided she wanted to do music. Like, yo, I know you rap, you nice. So let me bounce these songs off of you. Da da da. So uh. I've only worked with Cardi B and Kanye West. Like, you feel me? I haven't. Dog. I've never I know, I written for nobody else. Like, I know you're saying that, but those are two else. fucking huge, incredible brands. Exactly. Like, I've, I'm surprised everybody hasn't called you after that. I've only worked with them two people. It's like, who do well, you Well, would you work with others? I mean, uh, yeah, I guess. I guess. But who do I go to from Cardi B and Kanye West? Who do I go to from there? Moses, Jesus Christ, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, it's good to see that you're doing your thing. I'm looking forward to the new project. And, um, you know, just keep me updated, bro. Newberg's first. I think it's safe to say that, right? I, I think so. I think so. I'm not the last, though. I promise you I'm not the last. Newberg got so much talent that I just can't wait to shed the light on. So I promise I'm not the last one out of there, though. Nice, love, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to see that you're doing this, man. Thank you, thank you for the opportunity. I, right, Partisan Fontaine, it's the feature presentation, DJ Sus One. <laughs> <laughs>